Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Qt tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will learn how we can use Qt timer class in Qt. The Qt timer class provides repetitive and single sort timer to use. So let's see how we can use them. So what I've done is I've created this uh, sample uh, Qt timer demo project. And first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my main window.h file. And first of all, we will include this header to our header file. So just include Q timer. Okay. So this is our class which we want to include. And then we will define an object of this timer class in our private uh, section here. So just write uh, Q timer and then just use uh, this pointer and then define the name of your timer for example timer itself the object name okay now we are going to define a public slot function which we will use to connect to our uh, timeout function using Q timer so in here just go here and then we will define a special kind of access specifier which is specially used in uh, Qt which is uh, public slots okay and then give this colon and under this we are going to define our uh, slot function for example we can just define here void uh, my function okay so this is the function name which I have provided okay so just define the object of your QTimer class and a public slot function here now I'm going to give you a little trick how you can uh, you know define the declaration of uh, this function in your uh, uh, CPP file using uh, this shortcut so right click on your function and then go to refactor and then you will be able to see add definition in main window.cpp file right so just choose this option which will uh, you know define this uh, function in your cpp file also right so you don't need to write your code uh, manually okay so in this cpp file we are uh, just uh, giving some code to our function for example we want to just uh, print something using uh, this q timer so what we are going to do is we are going to include a class for printing uh, our output for example qdebug class okay and uh, using this qdebug you can just use uh, qdebug here and then you can uh, use it like a, a output function for example uh, update okay so this is what I want to print here right now in the constructor what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my timer object which I have defined here which is this one in the CPP file and then I'm going to initialize this uh, timer object so just write new Q timer and then we are going to give the parent uh, to it so this constructor takes the parent right you can see so this is the parent just write this here and then we will uh, define the connect uh, function here so just write uh, connect and then in this case first of all our uh, sender for this uh, uh, connect is timer object so just write uh, this timer here as a first argument and the second argument is the signal right so just write signal and our signal will would be a default function which is timeout function okay the third argument is the parent so just write this and the fourth argument is the slot so just write uh, slot here and slot will be uh, the function which we have defined which is this one so just copy uh, this function and then provide it here okay and then just close your uh, connect and now we can uh, just start this timer by using a function called start so just choose timer and then call a function called 
start here. Now this uh, start function takes uh, one argument which is the time in milliseconds. So whatever interval of uh, time we want to provide here we can give here in as an argument of uh, this uh, start function. For example, we give here uh, 1000. So it takes time in milliseconds. So 1000 here means one second. If you want to give uh, the timeout of two seconds, you will write 2000 or something like this. So for example, I want to give the timeout of 1000, right? So let's uh, compile our code and let's see uh, what it does when we run our uh, app. So uh, it's compiling and building and once it's built we are going to uh, run this. So let's run it and you will be able to see here when it's running you see it's uh, printing update every second right. So it's printing uh, update every second that means this uh, update function or my uh, function is called every second and this is called due to this line of code which is uh, the signal and slot mechanism which we are using and this function is called uh, sequentially at the interval of one second okay you can uh, for example provide here two seconds interval or let's provide it five second interval and let's see what happens. So uh, your uh, output will be printed every five seconds here, right? So you have to wait for five seconds and then after five seconds, the second output, right? So this is how uh, your queue timer works. Now this timer is not very precise, but for your normal uh, time operations, you can use it. Now in the next video I'm going to uh, show you how you can uh, create a digital clock using this Q timer class. So stay tuned and please rate, comment, subscribe and bye for now.